welcome to our own beep beep my name is alan and today i'm near london in a little village called upshire at st thomas's church to find the final resting place of probably the biggest reality tv star we ever got that was jade goody in a crossover because i won't believe in this place if i'm not quick it's quite busy but jade came to fame on the reality tv program big brother episode three and uh, she she was famous for quite a strange thing the fact that she was apparently uh, dim <laughs> but I've heard that the teacher said she wasn't so I don't know I tend to think it was exaggerated at least and uh, they became known as jadisms fighting with the thing there there we go <laughs> I can't even open the gate um, yeah, they became known as Jadisms. The fact that she didn't know things. I'm the most 25th influential person in the world. Pathetic. I don't really even know what the word means. <laughs> How comes Eskimos haven't turned into ice cubes? Is your brother bankrupt now? Well, you are actually black, aren't you? Is your mum white? I'm like, Excuse you me. Know? Are you no, no, no. My mum was how I was when I first walked in here when I was 20. No, no, no! No, I can do it! My mum's doing it. Jay Goody was an English television personality. She came to public prominence in 2002 when she appeared on the third series of Channel 4's reality TV programme, Big Brother. She went on to star in her own television programmes after her eviction from the show, which led her to launch a variety of products under her name. She was immediately criticised by the British press for her perceived lack of decorum and intelligence. Jade was dubbed by multiple outlets as the most hated woman in Britain. The country's celebrated magazines were less derisive, publishing reports of her affable nature and competent school performance from those who knew her. Jade had two sons in 2002-2004 with television presenter Jeff Brazier. Bobby, who was born on June 2003, and Freddie, who was born in September 2004. In 2006, she began a relationship with Jack Tweed, who appeared with her in Celebrity Big Brother. In June 2007, she had a miscarriage after allegations of Jack's infidelity, and they broke up, later reconciling. Jack and Jade married in February 2009, with his new bride dying one month later. Jade and Jack exchanged rings on the 15th of February in a private informal ceremony on the banks of the River Thames and they married on the 22nd of February at Down Hall Country House. Jade wore a £3,500 manual motta dress, a gift from Harry's owner, Mohammed Al Fayed. The couple signed an exclusive £700,000 deal with OK Magazine for photographs of the ceremony. Jade dined in her sleep at her home in Upshire, Essex, in the early hours of the 22nd of March 2009, at the age of 27. Her mother and husband and family and friends, Kevin Adams, were at her bedside when she died. Her funeral service took place on noon the 4th of April at St John's Anglican Church in Buckhurst Hill, Essex, and she was buried in her wedding dress later that day. The funeral cottage included a Bentley. Her sons did not attend the funeral, Thousands of mourners followed the funeral service on large screens outside the church. It was broadcast live on Sky News, which followed the service from outside since Jade had wanted a private ceremony for friends and family. I remember watching Jeff Bezier on Loose Women and he said that Jade was very brave. She had to tell her two boys she was going to die. And she said she was going to go to heaven and work for God and become a star. And the, the two boys being at that age didn't really comprehend it they went back to play but after she'd gone they missed her and they used to say things that could have been hurtful to him but he, he, he realised it was like they'd say we wish you'd gone in, rather than mummy but of course he realised they were just missing her and he didn't let it affect him but he said that on the night he had to tell them she was gone he waited till bedtime because it's the most relaxing time. And there was a one star in the sky. <laughs> of course, 
he used that and said that's mummy well makes you shiver doesn't it it's sad that's life sometimes isn't it wow in 2006 she'd met Jack Tweed who stuck by her you know and has been on many programs with with well he's been on at least one program I've seen with Jade's mother talking about her afterwards and I think even Jack Tweed wanted to see the kids afterwards because he wasn't the actual father and I think eventually he got access to them so it was very sad all around really for everybody wasn't it and it was in that 2007 uh, second time in the Big Brother house that she got into trouble for well they, they said it was racism and stuff like that but I think she just caught up in, got caught up in the fact that there was a, a Bollywood star there called Shil Pachete, very attractive woman and uh, Jade and a couple of other women kind of got a little pack together it was um, I think it was just there was a little bit of difference in their you know their backgrounds and their education and I think they really got angry, but I don't think it was anything to do with racism at all. Um, she called her Shilpa Papadom and stuff like that. Um, so it wasn't very good, but she 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 did apologise afterwards and she did do the 2008 Big Boss in India, um, apologising all the time for what she'd done. But unfortunately it was there where she found out she'd got the cervical cancer, so she had to come back. So it was the 1st of September 2008 and she'd now um, been told that she had cervical cancer. So she, she came back, um, she had an hysterectomy and did um, chemotherapy and radiography to try and get rid of it. And she, she was told at that point she had a 65% chance of a full recovery. And then unfortunately on the 4th of February that year, 2009, Max Clifford, who was a publicist, I never liked him anyway. <laughs> um, he, um, <coughs> that's got nothing to do with it, has it really? <laughs> but he looked like a rogue to me. Um, he announced on the, on the 7th of February that um, it had spread to her liver and bowel. And now she only had a 40% chance of uh, a full recovery. So yeah, looks like we're going to have to go into the, to the next... Uh, area which looks very sparse and then on the 14th of February it was announced that it was terminal so yeah what a, what a thing to have when you're 27 years old and she'd re-established her career you know she was getting back with her own TV shows and like I say you know for a girl who come from a, a poor background and a <coughs> you know poor schooling by the look of it um, she was doing well Look, I think it's over there because I know it's a white stone and it's in the distance, I believe. But the great thing that Jade did was she went on TV and showed it all as it was happening. And it was said that after she, after she died, 400,000 women came forward to have smear tests. And they're looking, you know, they're looking for abnormal cells that can develop into cancer. I mean, I think that dropped off subsequently you know to lesser figures but she really did bring a lot of awareness and she will have saved a lot of lives just by the fact that she told the story on tv and it affects young women mostly this kind of cancer under 35 years old so she did a well probably the most good she ever did in her life unfortunately she had to die to do it but she did showcase it which was a great thing to do okay let's spin round because we've got a lovely little tree here. Quite a nice view as well. You can hear that din distant sound of the traffic. Here we are. So let's come around here. She did, she did bring a lot of entertainment to people's lives and I've seen it. There we go, we can see it now, right by the tree, look. Yeah, perfect. Oh dear, a little bit sad all this, isn't it? Though? There we go. Okay, let's read the stone. Here in everlasting memory of Jade Sarisa 
Lorraine Goody. The 5th of June 1981 to the 22nd of March 2009. A devoted mother, wife, daughter, granddaughter and friend. Loved by so many. Your love, warmth and laughter will live on in our hearts forever. Jade, you, you did a great job doing what you could for yourself and your family and trying to establish a career. And when it came to it, you did a great thing at the end by showcasing this terrible disease. Let's say that. Says on that one, a, de a tear for my daughter. Love you always. Okay, that's from a mother. She's got a very deep voice, a mother. Bye bye, Jed. Well, like I said, she had, she made a lot of great programs overall. She did very well in front of the camera. She was a bit of a natural. She entertained people. She was funny. And uh, in her genre, she was very good. So people shouldn't knock, should not have knocked her at the time at all. And um, as regarding what she did for awareness of cervical cancer, wow. I mean, she made those programs and showed it all leading up to her death. She was very brave and uh, she deserves to be thought of well if, for that, if nothing else. It was a very brave thing to do that. So on this very blustery day, and it always makes you think when they're so young, she was born way after me. So unfair life, isn't it, sometimes? That's why we've got to make the most of it. We really have, you know? <laughs> I do get up and I say it every morning when I get up now. It sounds a bit corny, but I do. <laughs> I've been doing that a few months, actually. So look, subscribe and ding the bell if you want to, so you'll see future videos. You won't miss any, it's free. And of course, a thumbs up and a comment would be fantastic because I love the comments and I like to see all the people. We get, I get to know them. I'll do a live occasionally so you can shout at me. So you all take care. <laughs> you know, one day actually the live will be live where you can talk back. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Rather than just type back. Well, I suppose you could do um, one of these Zoom things, but it's not the YouTube thing then, is it? One day they'll improve it though, I'm sure. Take care, everyone. Have a great day wherever you are. Bye from me, Alan. Bye-bye.